Here's a little tip. From our garden to yours. Are those pesky nematodes wrecking your vegetable garden? Ed Thralls, our residential horticulture agent, may have a natural solution for you. Welcome, Ed. Hi, Celeste. Thanks for uh, having me. And this, uh, this beet does have, out of Tom's garden, does have <laughs> nematode damage on the roots. And they're, they're a difficult garden pest, aren't they? They are a difficult garden pest, and how dare they attack Tom's garden. <laughs> but I also have a beet here, a different color one that has the pest. And you can see these little knots on the end of the roots. And they are uh, small microscopic worms that get into the uh, root system and block water transport and block food transport. Eventually the roots uh, will die out and the plant can die from it. Unfortunately for homeowners, there's no chemical control that they can just magically pour on the ground and they're gone. But uh, they can solarize and it's a process that's been around for a while, but it's taken a little while to develop the technique and it does very good at not only taking control of nematodes for a short period of time, but also weeds and maybe some diseases you might have been experiencing in the garden. So it's called soil solarization. And can you explain to me a little bit about how, how you do it? Yes, uh, soil solarization, we're using the energy from the sun to actually warm up the soil to a temperature high enough that these organisms either can't survive in it or they move out of the way for a while. In the process, uh, we use the warmest part of the year to do it because uh, it's our rainy season. It's also uh, high humidity in June, July, or August and we need about a six week period of time for it to work. And what we do basically is we prepare our garden as though we were going to plant it out. We add organic matter, we add moisture. By adding moisture, the solar energy can penetrate further into the soil. And then we level it out just like we were ready to put seeds in and instead of putting seeds in, we put clear plastic on top of the bed and we make sure we stretch it from side to side and seal the edges with soil so wind doesn't get underneath it and cool it off. Uh, a lot of people heard that we use black plastic and we found out that black plastic is a good conductor of heat but if the soil isn't touching the black plastic is getting, not getting heated up. With the clear plastic, solar energy penetrates to a depth of about four to six inches and some of these organisms don't like the temperature even below that and you might have pest free gardening for at least three to four months afterwards and sometimes up to a year. So how high do the temperatures actually get? The temperatures can get up to about 120 to 130 degrees and that first four to six inches of soil and then it tapers off uh, up to about 11 or 12 inches and then you're just ambient temperature. So this is a good method to control, because nematodes are killed at about 120 degrees, correct? correct? Yes. And then some of our weeds, seeds, and diseases can also be killed. Absolutely. At and it's during a period of time where it's really too hot for us to enjoy gardening outside. So why not use that period of time and the solar energy we have to take care of those problems? Um, there's a difficulty you may see once in a while, Florida actually has a lot of clouds during that period of time as a rainy season. And the cloudy days, if there are too many of them in a row, they might cool it off a little bit. You'll see more weed growth. But don't be in a hurry to remove the plastic. It takes six to eight weeks to get the job done. And most of us, you know, you could also use this in a flower bed too, if you had nematodes in a flower bed. As long as you had bright sunshine on that flower bed all day long, yeah, absolutely. It works in flower beds, it works in vegetable gardens, and it'll even work in your lawn if you run into problems out in the lawn. You just have to have six to eight hours of bright sunshine every day for this to work. And be willing to leave it covered in plastic <laughs> for that period of time. True, and plastic uh, may be a problem for you to dispose of though when you're finished. Disposal, uh, the plastic might break apart if you've got a poor quality plastic. If you've got a plastic about six mils thick and maybe greenhouse quality where it has a uh, ultraviolet stabilizer in it, you might be able to use that plastic several years in a row. Well, soil solarization is definitely something to try if you're dealing with nematodes in the vegetable garden. Yes, it is. And the University of Florida has a publication for first-time users. And this publication is just about a year old. And if you need it, come to the Extension office, call us, or go online to the University of Florida and get your own copy. Ed, thanks so much for all your help today. You're very welcome, Celeste. I enjoyed it. 
Soil solarization can work if you follow the steps that Ed shared today.